No way! The live-action Beanie McChimp could dropkick virtual Beanie McChimp any day. But virtual McChimp has bulletproof skin and can throw power bananas at the forces of evil. Sorry, Gus. Computer games may be the future, but I'll take my monkey heroes live, furry, and fallible. Hey! Who the hang is that guy? Uh, Swinger Kid's dad? No helmet. Better check this out. Hi, mister. Nice day for a swing, huh? Oh, yeah. Huh. Ah, it's great to be back at good old Third Street Elementary. Whoa, you went here? Sure, back in the day. Oh, enjoy this, guys. These are some of the best times you'll ever have. <sighs> the old place even smells the same. It's the cafeteria. That stink is permanent. You got that right, kid. Well, I gotta go. Take her easy, guys. You too, mister. Name's Dudikoff. Frank Dudikoff. Did you say Dudikoff? Ah, the same old bell, too. Later. Boy, for a grown-up, he sure was nice. Nice? Guys, that dude was the dude. The, the dude? dude? Of course, I should have known. The great Franklin Dudikoff. I'm getting goosebumps. We're not worthy, man. Uh, I don't need the sound behind the times, but who is this dude guy anyway? Follow me, Gus, and I'll show you. Legend has it, the dude did that. Bigfoot Finster was here. A classic crack-up. A song like that could get you crowned prankster prince. He was that, Gus, and so much more. He was the coolest kid to ever play this hollow grass. He's my idol, my inspiration, my guiding light. They say he ascended to the king's throne at the semi-tender age of eight. The only third grader ever to do so. I hear you let the great cafeteria revolt against something they used to call the Tuesday Surprise. Best of all, the dude ran rings around Finster pulling prank after prank on her. Like this beauty right here. There's a word I've heard reserved for a special few. Moxie. Yep, the grown man we met at the swings is a living, breathing legend. Wow. And I shook his hand. Still tingly. I only wish I could have asked the dude some questions. Yeah, I'd like to know where he got that giant shoe. Sorry I'm late class, but I was greeting your new student teacher. Please give a warm hello to Mr. Dudikoff. Dudikoff? Whoa, that must be the dude. Mr. Dudikoff will be with us for a few weeks, learning how to help you learn by learning while I quietly observe from the back. I now hand the keys to your young minds over to Mr. Dudikoff. Good luck, Franklin, and don't feel nervous that your entire teaching career depends on how you do in these next two weeks. Uh, I won't. <laughs> um, Miss Scrokey tells me you're about to study the shocking field of electricity. <laughs> and so I brought some materials to, uh, yes, um, Theodore. First of all, let me just say I'm a huge fan. Gigantic. And I just want to say, welcome back, dude. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, but uh, please, call me Mr. Dudikoff. <laughs> the dude never really belonged in the classroom. Gotcha, Mr. Dudikoff. Now, uh, where did I put that science text? Oh, yes, here it is. <laughs> <clears throat> Electricity, part one. All matter is composed of atoms. Atoms, in turn, are composed of subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Both Gee, what's this junk got to do with electricity? The Shh, the, the dude is talking. Thought of as the atom's core. Part five, <laughs> static electricity. Static electricity is the type of electricity created when a balloon-type object, A, is rubbed vigorously against a wool-type object, B. What you talking about, dude? Um, Mr. Dudikoff, could I talk to you for a second? Yes, ma'am. It's occurred to me, Franklin, that maybe my being here is making you a tad nervous. Oh, no, Miss Grokey. Well, maybe just a little. But it is my first day, and... How about if I go take care of a few things in the office? You just stay here and keep on teaching. Okay, kids, I leave you in Mr. Dudikoff's sweaty but capable hands. <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> Flying solo. Okay, uh, where were we? <laughs> ah, because there is no quick way for the electrons to leave object A. They Face it, teach. A your dude's a dud. Maybe the dude just needs a little prompting. Mr. Dudikoff, I got a question. Uh, uh, oh, okay, Theodore, I'll try and clear up whatever it is you don't understand. What was it like being the only third grader in history to ever be king of the playground? Oh, no, no, see, that's, that's not in the lesson plan for today. And tell us how you led the great cafeteria revolt. You know, they're still picking dried noodles off stuff. Now that'd be worth writing down. Oh, come on, yeah. come on. Kids, Miss Grokey is expecting me to teach you about electricity and... Uh... Hey, maybe a diagram will help. And what about Miss Finster? What'd you say? Finster.
He's a washout, isn't he? Oh, uh, Miro, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. That Dudikoff kid can't be any good. No, no, he's fine. He just needs to find his inner teacher. A boy like that will never be a teacher. He's a bad apple rookie, and bad apples never ripen. Well, this apple did, Muriel. Come with me and you'll see for yourself. And that's when Finster caught me red-handed in front of the whole playground. And she makes this big show of asking me, Franklin, did you bring enough chewing gum for everyone? And I said, why, ma'am? Yes, I did. And I took out 247 sticks of gum. Ah! Oh, man, that is so cute. What's in the lesson plan today, Grokey? The history of hooliganism? Hey, look, Mr. Dudikoff! We saved you a spot in line! Oh, easy there, Gus. Dudikoff is so stiff. Just call me, uh, Dude. So what's the hairnet squad dumping on us today, huh? Oh, a little something we decided to bring back called Tuesday Surprise. Oh, no, not you again. Gladys, scrap the surprise and get on them sloppy joes. Nice to see they remember. Students, we have a serious lesson ahead of us today. Aww. Not the electricity thing again. Bag that. Want to learn how even though you're stuck in school all day, you can still have all the comforts of home? See? Now this is exactly what I've been stressing to you people. Long about 15 years ago, I figured out that this old globe here was... A hiding place extraordinaire. Ah, uh, my favorite gum, Bubbletopia. It's banned now, you know, but have a piece. But dude, it's old. No, my friend, it's vintage. Long as there's no expiration date, it's good to go. Tender. Supple. I'm telling you, sir, this dude person is a disgrace to the entire school. He just needs a little time. He should be doing time. But what Miss Finster says, standing on desks, lunchroom shenanigans, slapping up pony rides for a dollar sign on my back. It doesn't sound like teacher material to me. But Principal Prickly, I get good vibes from him, and the kids love him. I think he deserves another chance. All right, Grunky, I'm giving your Mr. Dudikoff until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then I'm coming down there to see for myself. If he hasn't cleaned up his act by then, he'll be out of here. For the second and last time! After I return these tests from the other day, we're going to break into groups. Not reading groups, doo-wop groups. Franklin, I'm starting to think you don't appreciate the seriousness of your situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prickly's coming down here in the morning to check me out. And if you don't have your act together, you won't pass your teacher training. Ah, come on, Miss G, look at me. I got a full-on rapport with these kids. Just check out the dudes adoring fans. Oh, boy. I'm in hot water here. I am so disappointed in myself. Hey, Midas! My life is flashing before my eyes. Franklin, you did cover the electricity material, didn't you? Um, I think so. Pretty much. <laughs> didn't we? We may be in hot water, but I got a feeling the dude's career just went down the drain. Yay! See you tomorrow, Teach. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Oh, man. There goes my video games. Help me learn science excuse. Dude? Hey. Hey. What you doing? Uh, saying goodbye. I'm just not cut out to be a teacher. It's time I realized it. Mind if I ask a question? Sure, as long as you don't raise your hand. Well, you're totally cool and junk, right? I mean, you're the dude. So, what made you want to be a teacher anyway? Well, TJ, probably sounds kind of corny, but I love the stuff you get to teach. Science, history, literature. I happen to think that stuff is sort of cool. Could have fooled me, dude. I mean, that electromagnesia junk was boring. No, it doesn't have to be. Electrons and protons make up everything, man. It's all a crazy, swirling, buzzing mess bumping into itself out there. You know, like a hardcore game of mall ball with some capture the flag and a little freeze tag thrown in there. Get out! I won't. Well, it's a bummer you won't be around to teach us cool junk like that anymore. Yeah, really. Would have been great, huh? So long and best of luck, Mr. Dude. It was a real honor. Mr. Dude? Hmm. Let's move it, sir. It's zero hour. No need to push, Miss Fenster. The dude isn't going anywhere. Oh, he's going somewhere. Right out those school doors. For good. Can't we give him just a scotch more time to find himself? We gave him time, Grokey. He's not teaching here. He's playing. Okay, okay. Keep the balls moving, kids. Don't break the chain. This is an ever-loving freakout, Mr. Dudikoff. Keep the ball moving, people. Come on, it's a happening. Yes, sir. And how can I help you today? What in blue places is going on here? We're studying electricity, and it's not a thing. It's an event. We're excited atoms. You see, the kids didn't get much out of my boring lectures, so I thought this little action demo might clear things up a bit. Is it working? Let's find out, shall we? Hey, Spinelli, where does our circuit dead end? It doesn't, Mr. Dude. It's only a circuit if the electrons keep moving. Heads up! But, but this can't be teaching. These students are having fun. What better way to learn? Teaching by the book wasn't getting anywhere. And the dude really wasn't helping either. Then last night, 
it hit me. Why not combine the best of both of those guys? The brainy guy and the fun guy. And voila, Mr. Dude. Marvelous, Franklin. I believe you'll make a fine teacher. Yeah! Principal Prickly, don't you have anything to say to this boy? Yes. Welcome to the profession, Mr. Dude. Let's golf Sunday. I'm keeping my eye on you. I wouldn't have it any other way, Miss Finster. Tender. Simple.